I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 19. Let's focus on verses 1 through 3. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also, it is not good for a soul to be without knowledge, and he who sins, who hastens with his feet. The foolishness of a man twists his way, and his heart frets against the Lord. You know, our generation values people who are successful more than it values the ones who aren't. And what I mean is worldly success. Today's proverb touches on the differences between how people treat the rich and the poor. The world exalts rich and famous people, but God looks deeper into a person's soul. Recall how the Lord instructed the prophet Samuel when he arrived at Jesse's home to anoint one of Jesse's sons to be king in Israel. And this will be the one who would replace Saul, who was the people's choice for the king. They wanted this guy. He just looks successful. And God's like, yeah, he's not that good. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as a man sees, nor man look at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. Even though a person obtains celebrity or riches, those things do not guarantee that person will be happy or joyful. King Solomon wrote an entire book of the Bible about that very topic. It's called the book of Ecclesiastes. And even King Saul, who had the kingdom and the power and the money and he had the good looks, well, even he was tormented because he lacked a personal relationship with God. Oh, it was his for the taking, but he didn't want it. 1 Samuel 16, verse 14, But the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, departed from Saul, and a distressing evil spirit from the Lord, Yahweh, troubled him or tormented him. So it's not enough as though God is saying, I'm sorry, it's not as though God is saying the greatest glory comes from being impoverished, per se. There are many wealthy people who love the Lord and whom invest their money in various ministries to build God's kingdom. And there's also many poor people who rebel against the Lord. And the whole point of distinguishing between the poor and the rich in today's proverb is to address the deep cultural prejudice against a person simply because of their lack of resources. And equally prejudice is to ascribe value to a person merely because they're wealthy. Oh, well, they must be more important because they're wealthy. Well, both of that is a sin. (laughs) It's a sin to judge the inner man a person's character solely by observing the outer man. Proverbs 19, verses 6 through 8. Many entreat the favor of the nobility, and every man is a friend of the one who gives gifts. All the brothers of the poor hate him. (laughs) How much more do his friends go far from him? He may pursue them with words, and yet they abandon him. He gets He who gets wisdom loves his own soul, and he who keeps understanding will find good. The key to joy has nothing to do with riches. It has everything to do with knowing God's word and obeying it and living within his blessing. You see, wisdom is to fear the Lord. That means to hate evil to the point that we have understanding, which is to depart from evil. Job chapter 28, verse 28 And to man he has said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we do need your monthly support. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.